Well, hello everyone. I'm Trevor Harbin, and I'm in 11th grade, which means I'm a junior. Not a senior yet, but definitely not a sophomore. A perfect little junior. And I'm from Thomas Jefferson High School. Dang it, Helen. <laughs> and my poem is called Death Machines. Walking down the street. Walking down the sidewalk, you come to a stop sign. You look both ways and double to make sure. Without a vehicle in sight or hearing, you start to cross. Then, out of nowhere, you hear the thunderous roar of the devilish machine. You're halfway there, and you're living on a prayer. Then you see it fast approaching, a behemoth of both metal and man. Then you hear its awful cry of wheels stopping so suddenly. You're almost there, just a meter to go. Then all goes dark. You wake to a pristine room with constant beeping. The last thing you remembered was the blue blur of death incarnate. The first thing you look for is your wallet. For why? I, why your wallet, I wonder? Your life was there. Your money, credit cards, photos. Nope, you stumble over yourself for your plastic identity and the little slip of paper that may, gives you the right to drive. The same right that was given to the man that hit you. But the cards are still necessary for life. That piece of plastic is you. Without it, you'll have to wait weeks, maybe months, or and then be fined. Then you realize that you are in a place of healing, a horrendous hospital. So now you wait for the culprit to be found as you rack up a bill that he will hopefully pay. But while you lie and heal, you wonder to yourself, when will this be over? But then the wait is over as you feel a sharp pain in your side. The beeping becomes louder and quicker Then silence until a nurse walk comes to check on you. The line has gone flat. 